Hey guys, what's up, back to the video. In this video, you guys, my spoiler-free review for Vengeance. A journalist and podcaster travels from New York City to Texas to investigate the death of a woman whom he hooked up with. For your notification, you're in here, I do all sorts of TV show and movie reactions, reviews, and breakdowns. So hit the subscribe button, notifications on so you don't miss any time I open a video or go live. Both wasting more time, let's get into it. So starting it off, we obviously have to talk about BJ Novak himself. He not only wrote and directed this movie, but he also starred in it, which is absolutely insane. This is his feature film debut, and he's obviously most notably known for playing Ryan in The Office, but he also wrote The Office, which is one of my favorite written shows ever. Over the course of the entire show, there's so much that happens and the consistency of great writing throughout the entire show is phenomenal. And this movie is no different. The writing in this movie is great. I love BJ Novak's character. And that's my favorite thing about this movie as a whole are the characters, which I'll talk more specifically about later. But the characterization and the realism behind all of this story that's in this movie is absolutely awesome. Now, as this feature film debut, Honestly, I had zero doubts. Granted, I didn't know just a little bit about this movie. All I knew is that from the one trailer that I saw before a movie like two weeks ago, and I was like, okay, I'm sold. I'm gonna go watch this movie. And it didn't disappoint. I think the biggest thing that I liked of this movie overall that lended itself to the good characterization and great characters, and honestly, compelling characters within the story was the acting. BJ Novak plays the main character, Ben, and he is a damn good character. He's so unaware and just mindless, but his arc throughout this entire movie is so great great and just the way that he transitions from the beginning to the end and I'll talk about more about the realism and just the whole ideas behind how much this movie relates to our world it is just so well done and his character encapsulates it all so well I also think the family that's surrounding the dead sister is also really great as I said in the synopsis the, uh, BJ Novak's character is a podcaster who's basically going to investigate the murder of this girl that he hooked up with and he gets really comfortable around their family or their family tries to get like, him comfortable and stuff like that and it's not really a mystery in terms of like a murder mystery which it kind of is but that's not really what the movie lends itself towards for most of the runtime it's more just a general podcast mystery and i'll talk more about that later because this is the first ever mystery podcast movie i've ever seen and i was a big fan of it but back to the acting i definitely think that the family was perfect they're all so loving and caring and again they're all characterized so well this actor named boyd holbrook i think that's how you pronounce it i'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing that but he plays the dead girl's brother and he is a standout Dove Cameron is also in this movie and honestly everyone that is in the dead girls family is great they're all great actors and actresses but Boyd Holbrook is phenomenal he really surprised me and towards the end honestly end of the second act going to the third he has this really emotional character moment with BJ Novak and it's kind of this big revelation moment type of thing and I really really love it and I think it works very well and I can't wait to see Boyd Holbrook in more things he definitely plays a more stereotypical character but I don't mind because I actually enjoy the character a lot and I enjoy his performance performance as the character and I hate to use this word to describe a movie but it is really woke and not in the way that people use it like derogatory towards a movie I actually think it lends itself really well to the movie because it's scary how woke it actually is but I think it works here I think it makes the movie better I think it elevates the movie for being so woke I went to this movie not really knowing much about it again I saw that one trailer but even that didn't give away too much and so I won't be revealing anything but it takes this super dark turn with character ideals and I think that's really what elevates this movie about halfway through is you kind of start to piece together all of these different ideas and different things starting to really understand how realistic this movie is and honestly that's what makes it thrilling it is just a mystery podcast movie it's really not that thrilling I'll talk about the blends of tones later in this video and it's nothing too crazy when it comes to that stuff but I will say it does do a really good job of making it scarily realistic but that's what makes this movie so good and that's what makes it stand out as a mystery movie in my opinion now in terms of the story overall like I said before I've never seen a podcast mystery movie I honestly didn't even know it was a genre but I like it a lot I think that the characterization of the characters and honestly of the just the family itself really elevates the basic story I mean at its baseline it's just basically like a murder mystery with this guy documenting the entire thing for his job but then as you kind of get more reveals as you start to understand the real world impacts and the fact that Ben and all these other characters come from completely different climates in the US they're completely different communities and honestly Honestly, different societal values that's really what makes this movie interesting and that itself elevates the story the pacing of this movie is amazing it's near perfect in my opinion it starts off with a bang and like you kind of see these revelations and character moments that overall is really what pushes this story to move forward my biggest issue with the pacing and honestly it's the biggest issue with my entire movie is at the end of the second half it gets kind of dull you have this weird falling out between a certain character and it's a good character moment and again it works for the characterization but as someone 
introduced into this movie that's already flying by. It feels like the slowest part, but it doesn't feel like it's an earned part that's slow, if that makes sense. But I'll also say the tone blends in this movie make the pacing really good. I think it's not just a mystery, but it's also like a comedy mixed in, but not in a bad way. I don't think it's like done not purposefully. BJ Novak is a writer that does great job with implementing emotional, but also comedic moments. And I think that this movie does it perfectly. My theater had laugh out loud moments and it was a great time, but there were also super serious and pretty dark moments. And I also think it knows when to use tension and the minimal action it does have, like the minimal, like bigger pieces that it has, I think it uses well. And it uses them well enough to like build up the tension. There's certain things that happen right away. There's certain things that just happen slowly. And I think they, they pace it perfectly throughout the entire movie. Now, personally, I didn't have a problem with this, but I feel like a lot of people might not like the villain of the movie because it's not really the villain. Obviously, it's a murder movie, a mystery movie. So you have to wait till the end to kind of get the villain revealed. And it, to me, it did feel a little bit undeserved. It didn't feel like there was anything too concrete about this character that was like making me hate him or want to be on an arc to be like, oh, he's getting worse over time or anything like that. I don't think every murder mystery movie would work in the way with this type of character being revealed as the killer. So overall, Vengeance is a great podcast mystery movie, but at its core, the characters make it unique. The eeriness of how realistic the movie is makes the tension sky high and the arcs through this movie show the best in humanity. Overall, I'm going to give BJ Novak's Vengeance an 8 out of 10. As BJ Novak's feature film, I'm super excited for his future in directing because he did a really great job with this one. And I would definitely check it out in theaters if you can, but that's it for this video. If you've seen or want to check out Vengeance, let me know you thought of it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.